what's up guys welcome back to my channel so we have got a good update for jonathan majors and will marvel be keeping him as kane let's see what is going on everybody welcome back to the cosmic wonder it's been a little bit but we have a new jonathan majors update that gives us a little bit of hope that jonathan majors is going to remain kang the conqueror in the mcu provided he is innocent and wins his court case. Now, if you're not aware, Jonathan Majors, Creed 3 star and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania star who plays Kang the Conqueror in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, was arrested a few months ago on accounts of assault against his now ex-girlfriend, his girlfriend at that time. Since he was arrested, his lawyer and himself have stated that he is completely innocent in this situation and he, in fact, is the victim of the whole thing. Now, after he was arrested, he was released not too long after and is now facing several charges of assault assault against his ex-girlfriend. The first date for the trial has already begun. Jonathan Majors appeared in person, and his lawyer stated that they thought the court was going to dismiss the case based off of all of the evidence that they provided to the court. Now, we'll talk more about this in a bit, but first let's go over his standing with Marvel Studios. Jonathan Majors was set to I be the think big they were gonna next dismiss Thanos the case. the entire MCU for the next couple of phases, phase five, Phase 6, that was it. He is the big bad of the multiverse saga. However, since Jonathan Majors was arrested and these charges are being held against him, he has lost a lot. He's lost some acting roles, his then management yes. company and his PR company both dropped him. He's been dropped from promotions and some commercials that he's been doing. And as you can imagine, right now, his career has come to a halt. And right now, a lot of people are looking at Marvel Studios, wondering what they are going to do with Jonathan Majors betraying King the Conqueror in the MCU. Are they going to replace him as King the Conqueror, bring in another actor to play the role of King the Conqueror, even though we already got that Ant-Man and the Wasp post credit scene where we saw over a thousand Jonathan Majors playing a thousand <laughs> different variants of wild. King the Conqueror. But nevertheless, if Jonathan Majors is found as guilty, Marvel Studios might not really have a choice but to replace him as King the Conqueror or pivot away from King the Conqueror being so important in the multiverse saga. That may sound like it's a pretty crazy idea. However, we recently learned about a month ago that Kang originally wasn't the primary focus of the multiverse saga, but when Marvel Studios saw Jonathan Majors portray He Who Remains and then Kang and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, they decided to center the multiverse saga around him, make him the absolute big bad villain, having him appear in many Which different worked. movies and it possible worked. series. So it wasn't originally Marvel Studios' plan to have Kang be such a big factor of the multiverse saga. Saga, they could revert back to that. Although I would argue now that we have the title of Avengers the King Dynasty, it's probably a little too late. However, like I mentioned, we have some good news today. While all of this was happening with Jonathan Majors, Marvel Studios kind of hid Jonathan Majors in their promotions. In fact, when they were promoting and hid. the Wasp Quantum Media, oh in all that. descriptions of the film, they simply said the villain, or they referred to a threat. They didn't even say Kang the Conqueror in a lot of cases. And then mm. we found out that Marvel Studios delayed indefinitely the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania assembled the making of the film. And fans got kind of worried because this clearly showed that the situation of Jonathan Majors was affecting some aspects of Marvel. And of course it does. Marvel Studios has to decide what they're going to do. Well, in a good, fortunate turn of events, mm. they have actually released the assembled making up special for Jonathan Majors. They didn't really announce this at all. Didn't really? really it at all. They simply released it on Disney Plus. But if you take a look, it is there, which is a great sign because they That's did not good. have to release this. With everything going on with Jonathan Majors, they definitely wow. could have chose to not release this or simply could have edited it a little bit more to not have that much of Jonathan Majors' Kang in this special that they released. However, if you watch it, there is a great deal of Jonathan Majors in it. And good. even the description good. actually speaks highly of Jonathan Majors. And again, before, his name wasn't to be found anywhere except for the credits because they rightfully had to give him credit as the actor that plays Kang the Conqueror. But check out what they had to say with him. The description, of course, is assembled the making of Ant-Man and the Wasp of Quantumania. The description is pretty long, of course. It talks about talking to the cast and crew, looking at interviews, behind-the-scene footage, etc., etc., talking to Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, the rest of the cast, Corey Stolas Modoc, but then it says this. But of course, when it comes to baddies, the main attraction is none other than Kang the Conqueror. Heavyweight mm. performer Jonathan Majors opens up 
about the unique processes he used to fully embody Marvel Studios' next monstrous adversary. All of this and more await viewers in Assemble, the making of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. That is some pretty high praise from a studio that really wasn't mentioning his name before or promoting their new villain uh. after everything happened with Jonathan Majors. This could possibly mean that things are turning around for Jonathan Majors and could be a great indicator that Marvel Studios does in fact want to keep him as Kang the Conqueror. In fact, I know they want to keep him if he yeah. is proven innocent. Because if he's proven innocent, there's no reason to punish him for anything. A lot right. of people and companies have already done that before hearing the entire story. And a lot of evidence has come out since he was arrested. And I think the fact that Jonathan Majors has provided such a large amount of evidence in his favor to prove him innocent is why right now Marvel Studios is okay releasing the assembled making of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania and has held off about making any type of rash decision about firing John Majors and replacing King the Conqueror until the court actually rules. Because you know since all of this has happened, Jonathan Majors has met with Marvel Studios. He's met with Kevin Feige, possibly Bob Iger, and explained everything that has happened. And I'm sure once he gathered all of this evidence, he went to Marvel Studios and said, hey, this is me trying to show you I am innocent. I did not assault her. She assaulted me. There's a lot of video evidence. There's photographic evidence. I have a lot of witnesses who are willing to testify in court that I did not assault her. And there's even evidence of her partying immediately after the event in which she said she got hurt, but was not evidently hurt in any of the videos or photos that were taken of her immediately after. And that's what happened. A lot of the evidence that Jonathan Majors has is what I just mentioned. There is CCTV street footage of Jonathan Majors getting out of the car in which we can see his ex pulling him back in the car and kind of hitting him, but he actively tries to get out of the car run away from the situation in which he does but people even see him on the street and ask him to take a photo in which he still obliges them and takes the photo with them and then continues to run away his ex-girlfriend stays in the car and leaves the driver of the vehicle at the time which was a hired driver service is also one of the people that is going to testify stating that jonathan majors never attacked her jonathan majors returned to his apartment the next morning around 10 or 11 a.m he went into his bedroom and could not open the door so he called the supervisor to open the door which he did and they both saw his girlfriend at the time, now his ex, passed out drunk, mm. half naked, in his closet. Then Jonathan Majors himself called the police. And when the police showed up, since everything was the way it was, she was seemingly injured, they arrested Jonathan Majors. However, the police were wearing body cams, and in the body cam, you can hear her say, how did I get hurt? She herself didn't even remember at the time, and it is said mm -hmm. that some of the policemen there coached her to say that it was Jonathan Majors, assaulted her. This footage has not been released to the public yet, but according to his lawyer and the evidence they have provided to the court, that is what happened. So I would like to say that Jonathan Majors and his team took all of this evidence, all of this footage, the photos, everything they have, the witness testimonies, everything, and showed it to Marvel Studios and said, hey, this is me trying to prove my innocence. Please don't make any decision until the court makes a decision because I would love Which to is remain fair. conquered. Well, of course he would. And who knows what's going to happen, but like I mentioned, he does have a lot of evidence in his favor. So much evidence that his lawyer thought they were going to throw out the case, dismiss it, and That's simply wild. say that Jonathan Majors is innocent. But they are going to court. The next court date is August 3rd, so if we hear anything, in the meantime, we'll be sure to do an update. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date mm -hmm. with this situation. And of course... Marvel Cinematic Universe. Please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment so you can enter our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. We pick a winner at the end of each month. The winner gets to pick one item. You can also check us out on Patreon. You can check out our website and Discord server. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof. Well... That sounds like it's good news for Jonathan Majors. I think that they, um, them releasing um, Ant-Man and the Wasp for Disney Plus, the uh, assembled version, without even saying anything. Like, I didn't even see any promotions. And yeah, initially they didn't want to do it because he was tied into it. But not only did they release it, but they also gave him their uh, his respect, which they should have. And I'm glad that um, you know, they're not doing what a lot of people did and just jumped into, well, he's in this, so let's take him out, let's take him out, let's take him out, and without even knowing anything, right? 
Um, I think it's a good thing to keep him as king. I think it's a good thing that they're not making any rash decisions. Now, again, we, I, nobody, I don't think, has heard of anything when it comes to his ex uh, girlfriend and what evidence she has or lack thereof. But the fact that his legal team said that they had so much evidence that they were, that they thought they were going to throw out the case says a lot. It says a lot, but we'll have to see what happens uh, next month when they go for their um, next um, court date. But we'll see. But this is looking good for him. It's looking good. I hope it continues. If he is, in fact, innocent, I do hope that, um, you know, he does get to continue on as an actor doing what he does and continuing with these projects that he has in um you know lined up but leave your comments down below give me your thoughts let me know what you guys think and if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel hit like share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever i pop up on your feed i'll see you guys later